Hi, and welcome to Banana Split 2012. I'm your announcer, Chad Uglethorpe. And I'm Don Crotcherton. This is actually the 42nd annual Banana Split uh, Banana Race. There's a, there's a long history of banana racing in, in, this, in this country and across the world. That's right, Chad. Banana racing dates back to ancient Greece, where it was played the, in the first Olympic Games. Early versions of the game, bananas weren't readily available, so competitors used anything from sprigs of asparagus to mangled clumps of rhubarb. Banana racing came to the U.S. in 1827, and you might note some famous amateur banana racers throughout history include President Abraham Lincoln, Al Capone, and Oprah Winfrey. As you can see, the banana racers are lining up about ready to get started, so we will be starting here momentarily. It's been years since I've seen so many dangling bananas, Chad, and we're ready for the action. Here we have Angela Frund, our official of the evening. We've got Nick Nasky, Jen Lucas, and Mel Reed. And they're off. We've got a nice one from Nick. A lead from Nick here. Jen Lucas and Mel Reed trailing behind. Nick, Nick. has come to an... Oh, and Nick Nick makes it at 12 se 12.4 seconds. Uh, pretty uh, pretty nice showing for the first round here. We've got the slackers in the back making up the time. It's a neck and neck or banana and banana race with Jen and Mel. Mel, Re Mel Reed's in the hedge over there. Oh, she's rolling in the rough. That is hard there. And we've got a spinner as well. It's just kind of going everywhere. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. She's in some trouble. Oh. Oh, a little bit of brush back there from Mel Reed. That's, That's always good. unfortunate that when that a, happens. That is unfortunate. It's a real setback. She's going with the slow and go method. Oh, Looks like a little bit of drag there on the banana with Jen Lucas. She's going for the Tiger Woods, the side to side. And oh, Mel Reed. Mel makes it second place at 55.023 seconds. And Jen lost her banana. Oh, she did. Oh, that, that will disqualify her from that round, unfortunately. And then up next, we have Colleen Hoiser, Ryan Frund, and Carrie Netsky. And it's off. And Ryan Frund to a dominating lead. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty impressive there. there and oh, my oh. goodness, beats the lead with 9.2. Very impressive, very impressive. That's Colleen coming up right behind him. She's got a little spinner action going. Uh, a few misses here. OK, bumped it a little bit there. She's close, almost second. There we go. And she made it 26.69 seconds. Carrie still in the back end of the field. She's struggling. She's struggling, but she's she's making it up a little bit here. And now she's in the hedge, trying to get out of there. Some spinner action as well. That's really rough, wouldn't you say, Chad? Then when that banana starts to spin. You know, I, I don't I don't see the motivation from Carrie this year than I have previous years. She's, she seems a little off her game today. Now, you know, the, those good looks aren't going to push that tennis ball down the court. She needs to take some hip classes. Well, over a minute mark here on the clock. Just a poor showing by Carrie. And a little bit of brush back there. She seems discouraged. She just needs to buckle up. Oh, oh, we see some double banana action there. And what's going on here? Oh, oh, I don't know if that's legal. Although she there's, had passed the minute mark, we're going to check the rule books some, on that. Some booing from the crowd there. Yes, that was not a popular action. Up next here, we have Alex Lucas, Adam Nagao, and Mary Bowling. Mary Bowling off to a start, good start here. Taking a commanding lead over the two other competitors. Getting close. And across the line. 13.5 seconds for Mary Bowling. Very nice. We've got Adam coming up close behind. Crosses the line as well. 20.2 seconds for Adam Nagao. Alex Lucas is trailing behind here. He's got a little spinner action, but he seems to be doing well with it. Looks like it's something he's accustomed to. And he makes it in at 31.7 seconds. Looks like he's limping off the field. Might have pulled yeah. something. Yeah, it might be a hamstring or something. Up next, we have Dan Hoiser Tim, and Tim Reed. This is just a dual, uh, dual match because we lack the third competitor. Although none less important, Dan Hoiser, a master at the banana games. Tim Reed looks like he left his belt at home. He's substituting the rope to keep the pants on. And they are neck and neck. And Tim Reed is actually eight feet, seven inches. So, you know, you need a lot of extra rope for that banana. Dan's taking a very bold-legged approach there. Good swinging action. Little hop. Oh, I thought he had it there. Oh, there he goes across the line. 
30, that's 36.7 seconds. Tim Reed still trying to finish up the slag. Oh, some brush back. Brush, brush back, back for sure. And now in the hedge. That's that's just the. That's some tough luck for Tim Reed there. For sure, for sure. He really he's gonna need to step up his game right here. We're almost at a minute on the clock. He's pushing the uh, longest time that we've had so far. He's getting close there. Oh, that's a nice big swing. Oh. Ooh, that's, that's no, that's a lot, lot of, of spinner. A lot, a lot of, of spinner spin. action. And now he's he just needs Josie a, Doing. He just needs a direct hit. It. That's all he needs to get it across. Yeah, it looks like he's having problems connecting. Some side-by-side -side action. That is not going to go well for him. Starting to get some restlessness from the crowd. Yes, we are. More brush oh, back. Oh, some boos, too. Oh, they are not I, happy I'll with tell the you, performance. If a round goes over a minute 30, the fans do not like it. They have been known to throw banana peels on the court if it goes over two minutes. Oh, there we go, Tim Reed. Oh, save to the humiliation. Minute 38 for Tim Reed. It's all right. Let's see if we can make it back. All right, our next round we have up. Uh, this is our second time trial. We have Mel Reed, John Lucas, and Nick Nats. And look at them go right off of the oh, gate. Wow. Going fast and cheerleading on the Mel. sidelines. Mel taking oh, Mel the lead. Yeah! Mel makes it in at 12.8 seconds. Nick right behind with a fist pump. 16.9 seconds for Nick Natsky. Jen's pulling it up the rear, but she's going steady. She's dealing with some spinner action right there. I'm, I'm hoping she secured her banana a little better this time. Yeah, she did have some difficulty with the banana in the first time trial, but hopefully a more secure knot can help that. I, I see her. She's approved on her concentration. She, she seems very focused right now. And she just is doing some more do -si do around the ball, just needs to connect. Obviously, I think she's worried about dragging like in the first round. I see that she's using a Chiquita a banana, victory. which is a the preferred type of banana for banana racing. That's right, and the sticker is just an extra oomph. You know, a little bit of bling for your banana, if you will. That's right. Um, some some people say it's good luck to have that Chiquita banana sticker. On. Oh, and a nice hit by Jen. Still struggling, but getting closer. <laughs> Minute 15 on the clock. The crowd is anxiously waiting. Being a little dizzy from watching this banana spin around. I think the crowd is bored now. I think it was a bathroom break. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get them in. Oh, oh, the excitement is coming. Two shots in a row. Three, and she crosses the line. She makes it in at a minute 34. <laughs> On to the next round here. Uh, this is the second time trial for Colleen Heuser, Ryan Froon, and Carrie Natsky. And as you see, these three competitors had some pre-swing before the horn was blown. They're getting ready. That's good preparation. Carrie coming out with a commanding lead as of since last time trial. Ryan, we're showing. Ryan's coming up behind her, though, showing some competition. Oh, Carrie's in at 18.8. Now we'll see how that goes with the possible infraction from her last run. With the kick in, it's Colleen and Ryan, neck and neck. Ryan's taking the lead. And Ryan's in at 33.1 seconds. Colleen's doing steady. She's almost there. She's got a solid time from before. And passes the line. Nice solid hit right there in at 44.2. That's right, Chad. We've got some good competitors here today. And up next, we have Alex Lucas, Adam Nagao, and Mary Bowling. All three competitors making a steady start. Alex and Adam are getting a little close there. He's swinging up behind him. Whoa, a little bit of entanglement there. Almost. We almost got some wrapping bananas. Entanglement, of course, is when the ropes combine and twine or get together. Can they get apart? Alex oh, pulls from the lead. They're apart. That was close there. The last entanglement happened in the Al Capone days and was rumored to start the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Quite a tragedy. And we've got Alex and Adam. Alex pulls through to the win. Alex at 33.1. Adam right behind. Good showing by Adam. Adam at 39.1. And Mary still back there, but making some progress. A little bit of a drag there Ooh. from her banana. Checking her rope. She needs oh. to raise that banana a little bit if she hopes to compete in this. She's got a droopy banana there, Chad. She's got to tighten up that slack. You know, it's really something you need to take care of before the race starts. You really got to make sure you have the right height of your banana. Yes, poor preparation has led to much dragging, and she quits. Ah, disqualified. Walks from around the field. 
Next up, we have Dan Heuser and Tim Reed. Dan taking a commanding lead. Once again, that bold legged action sends his ball flying. Going through the cracks here in the driveway. Oh! And he's in at 14.7. Tim in the hedges again. Let's see, let's see if he could do a little better than his last round. I'm hoping he's so. He's already making progress. He just needs to watch that brush back and get out of the hedge. Very close. He's almost there. Oh, and creeping across. In at 31.9 seconds. Very, very much better than his last round. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. We're here at the end of our time trials. Some impressive and not so impressive scores going on here. Um, couple disqualifications there, if you can see on the board. The competitors are matched up against each other with their best time out of two rounds. And if we take a look at our standings here, Ryan Froon makes it in the first place with 9.2 seconds. In second place is Nick Natsky with 12.4 seconds. And trailing just behind Nick in third place is Mel Reed with a 12.8. Moving along with those three into our quarterfinals are Mary, Dan, Carrie, Adam, and Colleen. A big upset today in the races as last year's golden banana winner Alex Lucas is disqualified in the time trials. Along with him is Tim Reed and Jen Lucas with a dismal time of 1 minute and 34 seconds. And we're moving on to the quarterfinals here. Ryan Froon and Colleen Heuser. Colleen taking a commanding lead. Both competitors with a lot of pre-swing. It's very important not to tap the ball before the ball points Colleen out. is really into this, this round here. She is zooming ahead. Oh, a little setback there. Good block of the banana with the legs. There she goes. She's almost there. A few inches. Looking to connect one more time and crosses the line. 27.5. Ryan right behind. At 30.6. Some booing there again, if you notice. I think they're still mad at Ryan for that kick on Kerry Natsky's first round. That's quite a controversial move there. Up here we have Mel Reed and Kerry Natsky. They're both to a good start. Kerry, a great slap right out the bat. Very close to that hedge, though. That's that's worrisome. Mel is getting that knee action in there. Not really working for her. Kerry trying to connect with that ball. Oh, Mel out in front all of a sudden. It's banana and banana. Mel's very close. Oh, almost a entanglement. We got some oh. rushing. Whose ball was that? It's a. It was Carrie's at 33.5. She snuck in there. And Mel has some brush back, and she just stopped. She didn't even finish. That's the second time Mel has stopped on the tracks. Next round here, we have Nick Nick Natsky and uh, Adam Nagao. Nick. Nick, he's got that middle tie where the banana is all the way in the middle. And look at that, an amazing run. 9.2 seconds. Just flying down with that ball. And was taking more of a slow but steady approach. Come on. Some gentle nudges from the banana. Over the crack there. And clean across the finish line. 25.2 for Adam Nagano. I believe a little T-bowing there at the end. Up next, we have Dan Heuser and Mary Bowling. Now let's see if Dan sticks to his wide leg approach. Mary just swinging for the fences there. And Both of them, rough very, start. Very, very concentrated. Cool. There we go. Oh, spinner for Dan Heuser. Can he come back? Still in the lead. Mary's working across. Doesn't look like she got any of that slack out of the way. No, hip action is key in this game. And Dan Damn. crosses the finish line. 23.2. In this round, we have Nick Natsky and Colleen Heuser. As you can see, Colleen's adopted her husband's wide leg stance. I wonder if it's a family secret. Just nice hit by Colleen. She's getting close to that line. Oh, oh, Nick is coming from behind. And it's the long shot for the win. Five passes Colleen with an 18.0. That's a disappointed banana face. Colleen is not happy about that. Up next is Dan Heuser and Carrie Natsky. We are in the semifinals, working his way. Dan with a nice slow shot down the line. Carrie's got some back and forth action. She needs to get that banana going straight. Dan pulls ahead. Not even trying. Oh, oh just inches, inches in. Oh. Inches from the line, inches. That's going to hurt the time, but he still comes out with a victory. 20.4, Carrie's knocked out. Left in the proverbial dust. 
Didn't even make it off the line, it looks like. Chad, do bananas have dust? It's quite a controversial topic. And now we're on the final round here. Crowd is riled up, and here we go. Nick versus Dan. This is the finals. Nick with those big swings. Dan with the slow and steady, tiptoeing up. Nick with a wide stance back there, stumbled a little bit. Looks like he's not used to it. Dan is much better at handling his banana than Nick out there. He's got some spinning going on here. Oh no, Nick is coming from behind. Oh! With the win and the golden banana. 22.222. Very nice time, very nice round. The crowd is loving it. And we have the winner of this year's Golden Banana, Nick Netsky. Our 2012 champion, he gets the Golden Banana Trophy. And that'll be sitting on his mantle for at least another year. <laughs> Flaming banana in the background there, as is tradition. Thank you for joining us. This has been the Banana Split 2012. I'm your host, Don Crotcherton. And I'm Chad Oglethorpe. We'll see you next year. And as always, let your bananas always be right.